Hello world, this is JWP. I will be doing a guitar jam in FL Studio G major. Let's jump into FL Studio. Of course I need six Syntronics. But let's just start with one. <clears throat> and I might push this an extra half hour because I'm gonna have to do a bunch of setup. Ooh, last time I looked at mini mod. Now I'm going to look at noir. <clears throat> I'll just quickly read through that. So I K multimedia website software product software Centronic Centronic instruments. Late 70s progressive sounds, bringing together three classics, classic moog synths. The Syntronic Noir recreates the multi-moog, micro-moog, and prodigy, introduced in the late 70s. The prodigy technically has three oscillators, but unlike the mini-moog, the, the prodigy's third oscillator is only used as an LFO for modulation. However, the oscillator sync is available in the prodigy, taking a cue from the micro-moog and <clears throat> the MicroMOOC single oscillator design is surprisingly flexible with its continuous variable wave shape and sub-oscillator implementation. A single self-oscillating resonant low-pass filter is provided. The modulation capabilities of the MicroMOOC are quite extensive for what looks like a simple synth. The multi moog builds on clever design of the micro moog by adding a second oscillator and add addition, adding an ooh, and additional modulation routes. The multi moog was one of the first synths to offer aftertouch pressure sensitivity that could be um, that could be used to amplify modulation. The multi moog is a really modulation monster. The multi moog is really a modulation monster and excels when it's stretched to its limits for unconventional sound using cross modulation between the oscillators. A noise generator and filter. Some very complex resulting wave shapes are easily are easy to achieve with this synth. Excuse my poor reading. So more hard-hitting, pretty much, base waveforms here. Not base, but like basic waveforms like this. <clears throat> so looks like bass, organ, sound effects, synth lead. And let's check out some of these. Auto file synth lead. Let's see what that screen looks like. Just checking my sound. Start with a rhythm. Mm. Clicky filter triangle. Perhaps there's somewhere else I can be looking. Cyborg boogie. Progressive pluck. <clears throat> Dope thirty two step. Oh. 
Everything is all modified. Bunch of garden right here. Polyphonic, but sounds pretty harsh. <laughs> that speed bass, fear the drone. I think my parameters down here. Nope, it's normal. <clears throat> Festival 89. Filter FM phaser lead. Filter triangle. Lead. Thank you. 
no more symbols, no more grind base, no more sample and hold light. <coughs> No more sauce square sub. Um, hold for ground bead. Black lead. Okay, I'm getting running out of time and patience. How do I turn this into you? Synth guitar. Transistor cord. a million times and I want the pitch bend to be 24 I think let's check <coughs> the controller Six 
honestly though, <clears throat> I don't feel like I'm gonna be able to bounce around like that. So try something more like this. Let's try that out. Anyway, 
அறிவு why this is like that. <clears throat> so if we 
cuts.
So what's going on there is missing one. This is what this is over by one. Okay. this <clears throat> so this here is to six and I'll shrink those down I think it was a half step last time Base like seven times. Okay, a little more in the base. Okay. 
going to grass base. Well, let's compare it to the rhythm.
back that in real quick, just backbone, and then I think that's it for today. Second thoughts, nah. It's been a lot of practice, and I want to get to doing other things. So that's just a quick session, not much. I said I'll continue a little bit longer. Unfortunately, nah. So I'm gonna call it there. I'm just gonna save that. And throw the intro. And yeah, thanks for watching.